Okay, that's it. Is everything hooked up? <gasps> Oh, hey guys, it's been a while. So I took off the day, I took off three days actually. I'm back at the electrical and I finished up the wiring of the board. I'm ready to put it inside the van. Uh, I'll have my dad come out and he'll uh, help me bring it inside and mount it onto the van uh, body. And um, then we'll hook up the battery to it. You wanna hook up your battery first and then do your solar panels. This is part of the reason that I took off three days. My parents got a puppy. This is Coda. Uh, she's a good girl. You wanna hook up your battery first before you hook up your solar panel. So I'll mount it, mount this board, uh, hook up the batteries to see if everything is working properly, if the charge controller uh, goes on and you know if the inverter goes on. That is really great news. <laughs> Uh, that'll be really great news, so we will see when we get to that point. Um, but yeah, so I'm ready to hook that up, and I think I'm able to start uh, putting some wires through the van for the lights, uh, through the fan, outlets, and various things. So that's today. Hey guys, I am on my phone right now. That's probably why it sounds a little weird. Under here is really low lighting. My phone is a lot better. So that's why I'm, I'm using my phone. So right here is the electrical. Um, in between the time lapse of me putting this board up and right now is a couple hours because I actually had to ground the batteries here, my two batteries and the inverter. So that took a little bit. I had to go to Home Depot and get some things, um, but it's all grounded now. So, and this isn't connected right now, but um, that's okay. I'm really, the purpose of this video here is to test if everything works, if everything is charged. Um, this is falling, hold up. Purpose of this video is to see if everything works because everything is connected right now. Um, all I have to do, this next part is connect this board to the batteries. So that will be the moment of truth. And if things turn on, I'll freak the heck out because it worked. I'm probably expecting it not to work, but I'm hoping that it does. So let me hook that up real quick. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and connect everything. Everything is grounded. That needs to be connected. Now I just need to hook this red wire up to the positive and the black wire up to the negative. I should really mount this, but I don't have to take it down again to do a couple things, so I don't want to. But let's hook it up and let's see what we got. These are all tight, so I need to loosen them. I'm ready to see if it works. If it doesn't, I will be going to turn these switches on. I won't be too upset. I'll just figure, just want to figure out what's going on. Just screw. I'm just screw. Oh, 
All right, I instead did the negative first. Now I'm gonna hook up the positive. The scariest part. Come on, just stay there for like a couple seconds. This is what works. Get shot. No sparks just yet. Okay, that's it. Everything hooked up. <gasps> it's working. Guys, it's working. The reason I got so excited, let me show you. Oops, it's on flash. But the reason I got so excited is because that's on. It's on. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I did it. I did it. I did something that I thought I could never do. That's awesome. Oh, yay. I'm so happy this works. Like, okay, the inverter, or the, uh, yeah, inverter makes a noise, um, but it doesn't quite say it's like on, on. Like no power. Well, it's, it's making noise, so that's a good start. That's a good start. I did it. And I'm so happy. Hey guys, so today, got a late start again, um, but essentially what I've done today is I've put some conduit, some black conduit on the solar panel wires that are coming from the roof, um, and I ran them down here, and I'm going to attach them to the charge controller where that should go. Um, but first, I'm going to attach the panel here to the wall so um, it can stay up there. But first, I'm going to just make sure all these grounding points that are hidden behind this board are um, nice and secure. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up. All right, everything is hooked back up. We got that fun little light again. Um, so right now, so these are the solar panel uh, wires. So what I'm gonna do with these is put them into the charge controller down here. Um, first run it through a 20 amp uh, fuse. Hopefully that's enough. I read that maybe I should have done a 30 amp fuse, but we'll see how that does. Uh, it's not too hard to get a 30 amp. Essentially, I'm going to attach them to this board here, make sure they're taut, um, and then run the positive, which will be something I need to figure out because both of these are black. Um, I will run the positive through the 20 amp fuse and then into here. So I have my multimeter here to find out which wire is which, and I sent it I set it to DC current. Uh, right now it's at zero. It's going actually all over the place. There we go. Um, so I have my black and my red here, and these are the two wires that are coming from the solar panels. Touched uh, black to this black wire, red to the other black wire, and it reads negative 19. So essentially that means it's reversed. So if I switch them, so the black on this one and the red on this one, and that's correct, it's reading 19. Um, 0.2723. Uh, so that essentially means this guy right here is our positive, 
and I will want to mark this and put it in its proper place. So I'll go ahead and do that and um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to length, strip it, uh, put it through this amp or put it through this fuse and then through here and then we'll go ahead and do the negative. Okay guys, I finally hooked up the solar panels to the charge controller here and I'm ready to talk about my entire system. So I'll start here. These are where the solar panel wires come down from um, the top of the van. And they come down here. The positive always goes into, you'll see this a lot throughout my system, but the positive wire will always go through a either circuit breaker Sorry, a circuit breaker, a a &L fuse, or I think it's called an MC4 fuse. This is a circuit breaker. And so if I ever want to work on the solar panels and uh, do it really easily, I can touch that guy and it disconnects the system. Um, and then it shuts off the current coming from the solar panels. So the positive is going through that circuit breaker, which is 20 amps and the negative runs right next to it and they go into these um, solar panel um, connection points on the charge controller right here. Then we have the charge controller as you can see um, but right here that means that the solar panels are hooked up and they're charging um, and you can actually see it here on the system too it has that arrow going towards the battery so that middle it's a little hard to see but that battery is the middle the solar panels is on the left and the light on the right is like the things that you would use to um, like for your lights or the fan um, so that's a good sign it is showing that it's charging from the solar panels so those two wires are solar panels then we have this red and this black uh, wires here it's another positive and negative I'll show you the positive first the positive goes here to this 20 amp ANL fuse then from there we go to a switch if I ever want to work on you know the charge controller just the charge controller or the solar panels I can switch off that and then it goes to this bus bar here this positive bus bar forget the 3 8 that's just my um, that's just the connections, uh, the size of the screw. So I'll take off this cover here so I can show you what it looks like. All right, so that is the positive bus bar. We have four connections coming from that. So this one specifically coming from the switch is going right here. And then from there, I'll actually do the negative. So the negative is this wire. It goes up and down and to the, the negative bus bar. Sorry, the negative bus bar. And the purpose of these two, uh, the positive and the negative bus bar, is just to clean up the entire system. So you don't have several wires going towards the batteries. You just have one going from the battery to the um, board here. So we have the positive and the negative bus bars. They're really big. So you have that negative going there. I'll show you on the batteries next. So I have these set up in parallel, so it's a cycle. And then I have, the important thing is you wanna make sure your connections, so your negative goes off one battery, if you have two batteries. You wanna make sure your negative goes off one battery and the positive goes off the other battery. You don't want to drain one battery. Uh, even though it's in parallel, you wanna make sure you put negative and positive on different batteries. All right, so from the positive, we have the positive here. It's connected to that positive. Going to this switch, again, I can switch that off and switch off everything on this system. And then we have three coming off the negative post on the battery. One is just connecting the two batteries 
Then we have this one and it's going down there. I don't, it's a little dark, you can't see, but it's connected to the vehicle, the metal part in the vehicle, which is a grounding point. You wanna ground your batteries to the metal part on your van. So that's what that's doing, that's going down there and that is a grounding point. Then we have a negative that goes to the negative bus bar here, okay? So we'll go back to the positive bus bar. From the positive bus bar, let's do this one. So you have this huge um, wire right here. This is a zero gauge wire and it goes to this 250 amp circuit breaker that is recommended by this brand's um, manual to hook up the positive to a 250 amp circuit breaker. And that goes to the positive point on the inverter right there, okay? And then you have this negative, this negative um, wire right here, and that goes to the negative point on the bus bar, and that is, you know, getting charged by your battery here, or getting powered by the battery. Then on the inverter, you have this random wire that goes to this hole here. That is another grounding point. So that is grounding to the metal part on the vehicle. Didn't have a really good spot other than that. So that is what we're working with. All right, so the last thing, it's a very easy system. It looks a little intimidating when you're looking at it. But this, the last thing on here are these thin wires coming from the positive and negative bus bars. And those coming from here, uh, those go up to the negative bus bar and the circuit breaker here, or the um, fuse box, sorry. So the smaller one goes to this 30 amp fuse, or 30 amp circuit breaker, and then goes up to the fuse box. This negative doesn't have a circuit breaker or fuse um, as usual, and that is just going back down to that negative bus bar. And that is the entire system. So I was really nervous to do this whole electrical system, but it turned out to be not as hard as I was making it out to be. And um, the last thing I have to do for the system is actually connect the lights, the outlets, um, the fan to the negative and positive, um, the fuse box and the negative bus bar here. Um, that's the last thing I have to do for the electrical. And then I also want to get an extension cord from here going up um, so I can hook up any um, things I want to hook up. Power it. All right, so that's it. That is the electrical system. I'm going to keep working on it though and do these lights. Let's do it. So once again, I did not film a crucial part of the van build, which is wiring the components such as the fan, the lights, and the outlets. So I found this step to actually be the easiest in the entire electrical system, because essentially what you're doing is just running black and red wires from the circuit breaker and from that negative bus bar to your components. So for all those components I mentioned, I used 100 feet of 14 gauge wire. I got 100 feet of black and also 100 feet of red, and I purchased that from Amazon. So since this is such a straightforward process, I'm not going to go over every single step, but I will go over my shopping list. Starting with that small negative bus bar, to connect that 14 gauge wire to it, I got small ring terminals off Amazon. And then we'll go over to that black box on the left that is meant for all the positive wires. For that, I got spade quick disconnect wire terminals. And then I also got assorted blade fuses in sizes 1 amp through 40 amps. So after you've connected the wires using those products I mentioned to your fuse box and bus bar, you must run the wires throughout the van to your components and then connect the wires using a series of products. So for that, I use mostly heat shrink butt connectors and then also wire screw terminals. 
So a van builder recommended I get this next product, which is lever nuts. You can see them in the top there. They connect multiple wires, they're quick, and they're easy, and they're super cheap. I definitely recommend getting lever nuts. As you can see in this photo, the lights are working, which means we have electricity. I was very pleased. After so much hard work, there was a positive outcome. It's a little bit of an understatement to say that I was overjoyed and so proud of myself. That is it for the electrical system in the van. If you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this van build and see the end product, then subscribe. Again, thank you so much for your support, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.